Yeah, it's been a long time since we've gotten out in that good offensive start. And I didn't plan on the penalties, obviously, the, the first drive and that, but uh, Mitch threw the ball well and found the open receivers. And, uh, so uh, very, very pleased offensively with, with how we played. We got to solve a few of those uh, penalties back to the first quarter. I, I think we were pretty good on that. And uh, anytime you score that many points and, and uh, spread the ball around the way he did, and there were a lot of firsts there, a lot of kids getting their first touchdown and doing some things. I'm really pleased with the offense. He played awfully well on third down. And, uh, you know, defensively, we got to play better on third down and, and, uh, and get off the field. Exactly. Yep, that's exactly what we talked about. And the energy. I mean, you need to keep your energy level up and, and play. You only get to play 13 games or, and they're you know, guaranteed 12, and I just don't understand how you can play those hard. And, and so, uh, uh, you know, offense, they kept going, kept getting points, and didn't quite getting touchdowns, but we're getting to the point now where we get around the 30 yard line. We're getting points. Him had done a good job kicking the ball. And, so, uh, but uh, you know, defensively, we, we could play better in the second half, no question. Trace, with Kobe, the game, he comes in as two or three come back and he showed quite a bit of the injury depth. So what did you think of his game? You know, it's kind of what he's shown in practice, too. It's just it's hard to get an opportunity the first game uh, when you're playing and uh, with, with Rodney in, in there. And so uh, those are the things that, that he's done all these practices. I was glad to see that. And, now that he's got a game under his belt, he'll have a, a lot uh, a bigger role here as we as we move forward. And, and um, you know, it's a good problem to have what we're going to have and people will have a tailback. How were how you able to get him with, with Shannon and, and Bobby in the stable going into the season? How was it? How were you able to recruit him given the fact that you had Shannon and, and Rodney seemingly ahead of him? Because he wants to play in the Big Ten. and, and uh, you know, he's a competitive kid, great kid, loves to compete, he's not afraid of competition. And, and it, it still comes down to when you get a bunch of competition in certain positions, that's when you get a lot better. And, and he's created that competition. And, and uh, so uh, I respect the play of our tailbacks. So we'll get a lot better here as we move on. Tracy, what went into leaving their starters and what long you do? I, I think you need to play three quarters. That's just my opinion. This early in the season, you know, before we've done it, we've taken kids out at half with big leads, and and there's a conditioning issue and everything else that comes into play. So I think early on, you know, you need to play through through three quarters, and and because uh, of, the, of the, more so conditioning, but also I mean we're we've got new people on offense and doing new things, and, and we we need to you can't um, recreate that type of atmosphere in practice no matter how hard you try, and so uh, they needed the snaps and. So that's what I told him, you know, on off it. Hey, well, through three quarters, we're going to go with our people. Then after that, you can substitute. I think we stuck with that. Were you anticipating uh, being on bench that much in the first half, or uh, did, with the passing game, did that come out of what the defense was giving? I think a little bit of both. You know, I mean, his checks and, and what he's doing is that, uh, you know, it, it helped us. You know, they did some very similar things last week. You know, team played this last week, and, and, and so. Uh, the game plan was uh, was pretty similar, and, and um, I thought we blocked a lot better up front um, than, than we did last week. Uh, so uh, you know, it, I think you always try to take what they can give you, but at the same time, you have to be able to run the football. But uh, he did a good job of, of getting us in a couple of throwing downs there early on, and, and uh, like I say, I don't know when, but it's the first time in a while we scored on opening drive. Tracy, you were noticeably upset after the third quarter in the back. Um, how much is that trying to get your point across today, and how much is that, I guess, coaching for the future when conference play starts? Yeah, I was upset. I mean, I, just, it, I wasn't thinking about the conference or later on. I just didn't think we were playing with as much energy on defense as we need to play with, and that, that's unacceptable. And, uh, so, uh, you know, every now and then they, they need a, a reminder, you know, and, it's not that you know I mean, we're up by more than three scores and, and that, but uh, uh, it's too great a game. A lot of a lot of great players have stepped on that field and played, and I think it's disrespectful to anybody who's played the game before to go out there and not play the hardest as you can. And so they just need a little reminder to pick it up a little bit. Tracy, we found out that you've got a couple of players suspended for violations. You know how long those guys will be out? I don't. 
Well, they're, they're suspended because they, they busted the team rules. So we'll deal with it day by day. A lot of, uh, a lot of penalties on kickoffs today. It looked like Emmett was trying to angle it into the corner of the end zone, and you're putting them on a short field. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? I told them to go out two hours early. You'd figure, you'd figure out what the hell the wind's doing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, you know, first one it could happen after that, yeah, I wasn't real happy about it. And, uh, it was a lot easier kicking towards the student section, and so that's why in the second half we started out that way also. But, uh, you know, they, they don't have a lot of jobs to do. That's their job to figure out the wind and kick it into the wind. And, and he could have done a lot better job of that going the other way. And then, uh, but as far as uh, uh, making field goals and scoring points, boy, he's, he's doing a hell of a job. He really is. And like I said, we're getting comfortable now. Is it? You get around the 30 yard line, you pretty much know you're going to get points with what he's doing, and, and uh, that allows you to take a few more chances also offensively when, when, when you get to that situation. So uh, I'm awfully proud of him kicking wise because there's a lot of people who didn't think that should be done that way, and, and, uh, um, and he's handled that part. But we definitely got to improve on the kickoffs because uh, you, you can't let anybody start on a short field nowadays. And, you know, and then you know, I'll probably have Ryan in my office because he didn't get a pun enough, you know. so. <laughs> Can't make them all happy. Um, let me think here. Is that? Um, uh, oh shit! It's. Well, we do need to do it too. We have Keontae Harden and Ray Buford. Yeah. And uh, Mario Johnson. Yeah. And Dior Johnson. Dior Johnson. Okay. And just one last thing on that. Are, are you not concerned about? Cornerback specifically, we got those two guys that been fighting for that starting job, and just kind of. I'm not concerned. It's a great game. Next guy has got to step up and play. Don't follow team policy. Get suspended. Period. Tracy, it appeared uh, Brandon Langdon sort of limped off a little bit after that last catch down yeah. by the red zone. Are you worried about his yeah. health at all? Going I am forward? a little bit. You know, I am a little bit. And I've been told it wasn't the whatever. It is. It doesn't have anything to do with what they fixed in the surgery. You know what I'm saying? But he was sore a little bit, but it wasn't the same thing. So by the time the doctors get to look at it, we'll, we'll, we'll get that updated. But yeah, I'm a little concerned about it. Was Calhoun in a situation where could he have returned or, or was it uh, he left on the control injury? Yeah, yeah, he could have returned. He could have. Andrew Stelter could have returned also, but there's no sense at that time of doing that. So let, let some other kids get, get some reps. Obviously, if you're a big game or receiver, but how important has he been for some of the young guys and all being a leader at that group where you got a lot of new guys who face it? Yeah, I think, I think he's done a great job. I think our seniors overall have done a good job. Like I said, all summer long, they took kids on the weekends and went and done things and hung out together, and they haven't done that before. And uh, uh, he's, but you know, you always say is that uh, to have a great season, your seniors have to play well. And right now, he is and Mitch, and we, we've got some seniors, Joe and I thought played awfully well up front. And um, so that, that, that's a good thing. And, and uh, we're, we're catching the ball. And, and um, so um, yeah, the key thing, though, is that uh, I'm greedy. We're, we're not where we need to be, and, and we need to get back to work. But at the same time, we'll give them a couple of days off to, to get their legs back under them. Any more questions for Coach? Tracy, what do you think of the way uh, Kamal and, and Carter play when you have them there? Yeah, we'll have to watch the film a little bit. Is that? Uh, but they were around the ball a lot. I thought we missed a couple of tackles. I thought they had an opportunity to make a couple of tackles there one time. But uh, they were around the ball a lot, and, and uh, you know, we played them because they do. They, they can play. They have the skills to help us out in certain situations. And so, uh, looking forward to their continued growth. I mean, here we got a week off. We'll be able to practice them again and get them ready to go. I think those two kids can make us better on defense and get us off the field. We got Jalen Meyer, taking us right here, and McCrary. And once uh, Kobe takes a seat, we'll go ahead and jump into questions. Guys, when you uh, give your answer, just make sure you speak in the mic. <coughs> go ahead, guys. Jalen, how did you feel like you guys uh, responded against the NSA? Does it look close to be able to pull the 34 win? Um, played good, you know. Um, it was just a, just a good dominating game, really. Started off fast, early. And, um, you know, we just wanted to continue it into the second half. Was it tough at all, given the you know, a couple guys that were suspended? Um, how tough is that on the secondary just to kind of adjust on the fly? Um, next man up. 
you feel like you have an added leadership role with some of those guys being secondary men to take them and give them some advice or something? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, just me being older, and you know, I had a guy, guys who uh, guided me also. You know, um, who are now playing NFL. So I just try to do as much as guidance as I can to them also. Tracy was talking about the fact that you know energy level. Did you feel it too? I mean, you kept the starters in there pretty long on defense. Um, the fact that they were still scoring points. That oh, well, I mean, uh, yeah, that definitely bothered us, you know. Um, you know, it can get hard sometimes when you just dominate in a way, but then you just got to keep your energy up as much as possible. You just got to keep telling yourself that pretty much we got to stop. Kobe, uh, what did you see on those two big runs in the fourth quarter? I just saw a lot of push. I mean, the offensive line blocked very well today, so I, mean, I just made one cut. I saw a crease, so I just hit it. Kobe, did you have visions of uh, like this, you know, big stadium and all that. Yes, sir. I mean, it's, it was a dream. I mean, so I got my first night away just ready to get ready for Colorado State. You should note, too, Kobe's 176 yards. That's the fourth most ever at TCF for a goal. Kobe, when you're, when you're being recruited and you see the, the roster with Shannon Brooks and, and Rodney Smith, what are you thinking and, and why did you decide to come here? I mean, when I came, I mean, I knew Rodney and Shannon, you know, they played very good, so I just came. I feel like I can bring some depth, all three of us, you know, three-headed monster. So that's what I figured. <laughs> hey, Kobe, have you had any games like this before? Uh, yes, sir. At my junior college, I think we played the number one team in the nation, Coffee Girls, and I think I rushed for 250 to get some. How do you get Coffee Girls? Amazing. <laughs> it's just a dream. It's a blessing. You know, when people look at, at your size, they look at you as a Yeah, that's what I wanted to prove too. And uh, Coach Clay, Coach Clay is Coach Portland. I can do. You know, I can catch the ball out the backfield and stuff. You know, so I kind of model my game after Le'Veon Bell. You know, he's a bigger back who can do a lot of stuff. So David Cobb too. So I feel like I try to expand my game a lot watching Rodney. Jalen, have you had a chance to see the replay of the first half? They don't score without that uh, double deflection play. Uh, what what you trying to ask me? Well, they had that fifty-eight yard pass. I'm just wondering how the defense must have felt pretty good about the first half, except for that play. Oh yeah, yeah, that was um, you know, one of those little fluke plays that just be happening, and then you know, you just gotta hold them as much as you can, and try to hold them to a field goal when stuff like that happens. You just gotta bounce back and respond. Well, how much confidence does this give not only yourself but the entire offense headed into the bye? A lot because we know we can do as offense. I mean, 500, how many yards here? 590? I mean, we know we can put points on the board, so I mean, just be confident for me. Guys, have any more questions for Jalen or Kobe? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank we have uh, Jalen Mitchell out here. Thank and Drew Wolitarski here on the way. Yeah, I think uh, just hang in there. You know, it, those uh, some of those pre-snap things. You know, was was their team clapping? Was their team, um, you know, saying some things that were getting our guys to move a little bit? So it was just staying calm. Uh, we knew that we could do uh, some things offensively against them. So it was just a matter of um, you know, staying positive and just uh, keep pushing through those times. Drew, you had a career day of touchdown reception and receiving. What went into that? Uh, like I said before, preparation, just the way we're practicing, the way we stay after together to throw routes. Uh, most of that stuff's done in practice. So when the game comes, it just becomes second nature. It's something that you're used to, that you've been practicing at. And I think that's what it comes down to. How certain were you that you made the catch on the uh, side? Certain. I was disappointed when they said incomplete. I'm glad they reviewed it. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty big for us offensively because uh, we had a bad taste in our mouth after last week. You know, we just felt like we could have done, done some things better. And, and uh, to come out this week and practice and prepare extremely hard, um, I thought was, was huge. And, and uh, it really carried over into the game. Did you see McCrary, you know, all camp, but did anything he 
you Not really, to be honest. Uh, you know, he reminds me so much of David Cobb. I've said it before. Just watching him run, everything he does is so similar to Cobb. And uh, you know, to see him finally uh, get a number of reps and be able to show what he can do. Um, you know, he's an explosive player, a really smooth runner, and, and can make guys miss. But, uh, I mean, but he's not like David. I mean, he's similar to David Cobb, where they're not going to truck you and run you over, you know, like crazy all over the place for how big he is. You know, he's going to make you guys, make people miss. So. Yeah, I mean, I think it definitely could be. Uh, you know, guys did a good job running routes, getting open, and I think uh, you know when you're running uh, passes or uh, routes at that depth, I think it gives the whole line uh, a good idea of how long they need to hold their blocks for and how long um, you know some of these routes are going to develop. And I thought they did a great job, you know, protecting for that matter. How important Mitch is it to um, have played with Drew as long as you have to establish the connection that you displayed today? It's been it's been a lot of fun, you know. We've been able to grow together. Um, we've learned a lot, and for us to be able to come out here as seniors and and um, you know really laying it all on the line, you know, really uh, taking control of the offense, I'd say. And uh, well, we've had a lot of fun doing it all through the summer into fall camp, and it's all about keeping that positive mindset and uh, you know really you know focusing on the little things. And I think we've done a pretty good job of that. We just got to keep it going. You've kind of been the second or third option the past couple of years with Max or with KJ. Are you ready to be that guy two straight weeks with, with leading the team in receptions and, uh, and yards? Are you ready oh, to yeah. no, no doubt, ready. Uh, I've been working this whole offseason to be this guy. And I can't say it was easy, but you know, here I am and I'm ready. Did you see the you're coming getting that third time? I don't know. We'll watch film, but pretty close, I'm sure. Did you see teams struggling? Yeah, that's something we had emphasized all week, and um, you know, it got a little bit chippy there at the beginning of the game in our uh, victory walk when they were kind of taunting at us, and they were dancing on our M during before game warmups, and um, then their coach had said that we're just like an upper level D1 AA team, so we all kind of took that to heart. Um, and uh, we really wanted to come out there and show them what Big Ten football is all about. Is it publicly? Uh, I think it was a radio interview. Coach, do you think you'll have to play a lot better or you start playing some of the other teams? No question. No question. I think this is just a good uh, stepping stone for us to, to, to use into the bye week and um, uh, just keep uh, propelling us forward into, into Colorado State and games to come. Well, I talk about you personally as a team. Yeah, that's a team, or me. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll keep getting better. Drew, did you see the same stuff with that dancing on the end with the kind of team line? Yeah, and I and I'd heard of uh, the D1AA thing before the game, too, so I was pretty heated as well. Has that one come to you today? I'm not really sure about how to just did it. Yeah. Could have been suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. You guys have any more? Did somebody say, say something in the locker room about them dancing on the M or was it just something you guys all well, I was just out there. We were just throwing routes and or, or throwing in like before a game where we were just in casual clothes and you can see it out there. And, uh, Mitch, do you notice any any different feeling in your body today? You only had three carries, <laughs> you know, compared to some of the other games where you're you know you're running the ball eight, ten, twelve times, you know. Tomorrow morning, are you going to feel a lot better than you would after a, after a game where you're rushing so many more times? Yeah, I, it, it feels pretty nice right now, to be honest. I feel like I didn't even play in a game. So uh, it definitely feels a lot better than normal. Is that something that you guys are trying to do to take the ball off a little bit? I think it's just how it went. You know, even last week, um, nobody expected me to carry the ball as many times as I did last week. And it just ended up being what was working against that certain team. So, you know, whatever it takes to, to get the W. So one thing has two drops and then you go back to him the third time and makes a good catch. The quarterback and just have to keep showing confidence. Yeah, yeah. We went over. I went over the, to him on the sideline after that second one. I was like, "Hey, you have great hands. You know, I'm gonna keep coming at you." So um, it was a great job by him to be able to respond and come back and make that huge catch.
You had nine guys catch balls today. It seems like you're really spreading it around. Obviously, Drew had a big day, but a lot of people are getting catches. Yep. Uh, I think that's something Coach Clay's had uh, talked uh, publicly about is how he doesn't want just one guy to be, uh, you know, getting, you know, that way the, the defense can key on to key onto him every single play. You know, we want to be able to spread that thing around and get everybody touches. And so we got a lot of good playmakers. You just got to get the ball to them. Mitch, you seemed a lot more comfortable in the pocket today. Was it, are you gaining more confidence in the line or were they not able to do something to? Yep. Yeah, I think uh, coming off of last week, that was one thing that I really wanted to work on this uh, past week of practice was, you know, just being comfortable, being confident in my, you know, in my, in my throws and, and in my, you know, bad foot and knowing that everything's all good now and, and uh, really emphasize that in practice this week and uh, was able to carry it over to the game today.